hello guys welcome back do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the boom df the boom df of the jib crane and the column de have a uniform weight of 5 pound per feet if the hoist and load wave uh, 30 pound determine the resultant internal loadings in the crane on cross section through point a b and c So this DF, the boom, and the column have the uniform weight of 50 pound per feet. So we were asked to find the internal loadings at the cross section through A, through B, and through C. So we can directly find the internal loadings through A, B, and C without finding the support reactions at E because we are going to consider a F segment of the beam. We are going to consider um, BF section of the boom and then we are going to consider uh, this particular section of the mechanism so for that uh, first of all to find the internal loadings at A we are going to consider a F um, a segment of the boom so for that I have to cut I have to pass a cutting section at point A so this will be our free body diagram for segment AF so let me put it here so now as you guys can see that um, the boom df has a uniform weight so what will be the weight of this particular segment so the weight of this segment will be the weight of this segment will be acting at its mid length from each end it will be located at a distance of 1.5 feet and its magnitude will be equal to 50 times this length right so 50 times we can say that the weight of AF will be equal to 50 pound per feet multiplied by the length which is 3 feet so this is equal to feet will cancel out so this is 150 pound so 150 pound weight is going to act at the midpoint so this length will be 1.5 feet now since we want to find the internal loading so at A we will have the normal force this will be an A we will have the shear force VA and we will have the bending moment at A. So considering segment AF, we, we are going to apply the equilibrium conditions. So the sum of the forces in the X must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive X. Now NA is acting in the negative X. This NA is acting in the negative X. So we will write minus NA. And there is no other force in the horizontal direction so this is equal to zero or we can say that an a is equal to zero similarly the sum of the forces in the y must be equals to zero upward direction is considered to be positive now we have this va va is acting in the upward direction so we will write plus va 150 pound force the weight is acting in the downward direction and this 300 pound force is acting in the downward direction so minus 300 this is equal to zero and from this we can say that VA is equal to plus 150 plus 300 which is basically equal to 450 so VA is equal to plus 450 pounds now since we got the plus sign here VA has a magnitude of 450 pound and it is acting in the upward direction now to find MA we, we apply the sum of the moment about point A that must be equals to zero and counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive now we have ma in the clockwise direction so i will write minus ma this uh, weight is producing the clockwise moment so you will write minus 150 and the moment arm of this 150 from that point a is uh, half of this three feet 1.5 And this 300 pound force is producing the clockwise moment as well. So you'll write minus 300 and the moment arm of this 300 pound force from that point A is this three feet. So multiply by three, this is equal to zero. So now if I bring this MA to the other side of equation, so we will have MA equal to all this. So we can say that MA is equal to 150 into 1.5 minus 300 into three. This gives me minus 675. 
So minus 675 pound feet. And the minus sign tells us that the assumed direction is not accurate and A is basically in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the internal force, um, internal loadings at the cross section through point A. Now for B again, we are going to consider uh, BF segment of the boom. So we now we are going to consider this. Now this will be our free body diagram. Now the weight of BF segment, let's find the weight of BF segment. Or we can say that the weight of BF segment will be acting again at its mid length somewhere here. The total length of the beam is now 8 plus 3 is 11, right? So this distance will be 11 divided by 2. So we can say that this distance is this is 5.5 feet. So this is 5.5 feet, and the weight of BF segment will now be equal to 50 pound per feet multiplied by the length multiplied by 11 feet so feet will cancel out and 50 into 11 is 550 so this is 550 pound now again we want to find the internal loadings at B so at B we will have the normal force this will be NB we will have VB the shear force and we will have the internal bending moment MB. Now considering segment BF. So again applying the equilibrium conditions, the sum of the forces in the X that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive X. Now NB is acting in the negative X and there is no other force in the horizontal direction. So this means that minus NB is equal to zero or we can say NB is equal to zero the sum of the forces in the y is equal to 0, upward direction is considered to be positive. Now we have Vb. Vb is in the positive y direction, so plus Vb. And this weight is acting in the downward direction, which is 550, so minus 550. And 300 pound force. This is acting in the negative y direction, so minus 300 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that Vb is equal to 550 plus 300 so this is 850 550 plus 300 this is 850 pounds so now Vb is equal to plus 850 pounds so the plus sign tells us that the zoom direction was accurate Vb is actually acting in the upward direction the internal shell force at the cross section through B is 850 pounds and it is acting in the upward direction. Now the sum of the moment about point B must be equal to zero. Counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now we have MB. This is in the clockwise direction, so minus MB. Now this weight is producing the clockwise moment, so you will write minus 550. And the moment arm of this uh, weight from that point B is 5.5 feet multiplied by 5.5. And this 300 pound force is again producing the clockwise moment, so we will write minus 300. And the moment arm of this 300 pound force from that point B is this length, which is 8 plus 3, 11. This is equal to 0. And again, if I bring this to the other side of the equation, MB will be equal to this. So we can say that MB is equal to minus 550 into 5.5 .5 minus 300 into 11 so this gives us minus 6325 pound feet so the neg negative sign again tells us that the internal bending moment at the cross section through b is in the counterclockwise direction it's not in the clockwise direction and the magnitude is 6325 now to find the internal loadings at C, again we have to consider another free body diagram and this time we have to cut through C. And here we have that, here we have that uh, 300 pound force, let me try it here. So this is our 300 pound. Now, uh, the boom will have its own weight and this part will have its own weight. 
so the boom will have a weight of let's say if we write that weight of df so that will be acting again at the midpoint now the weight will be equal to 50 pound per feet multiply by this length of df which is 8 plus 210 plus 313 so multiply by 13 feet this will cancel out and 50 into 13 is 650 so this weight is 650 pound and here the weight of this uh, DC will be acting again somewhere here like this so let's draw it this will be the weight of DC so the weight of DC will be equal to again 50 pound per feet multiply by the length of this DC part so which is 5 feet so multiply by 5 feet so this cancel out and 50 into 5 is 250 50 into 5 is 250 so 250 pound weight must be acting at the midpoint or we can say at the geometric center of this rectangular part and now at C we will have the bending moment so let's say uh, we will have the internal loading so let's say this is in C we will have the shear force and let's say that we have the bending moment in the clockwise direction so this is mc so now considering segment uh, cdf again if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to zero towards the right is our positive x now we have VC in the negative X this is VC so minus VC and there is no other force in the X so this means that VC is equal to 0 so VC is equal to 0 now the sum of the forces in the Y must be equal to 0 upward direction is considered to be positive now we have NC this NC in the positive Y direction so I will write plus NC minus the weight of DC which is 250 and minus this weight which is 650 and minus this 300 pound so minus 300 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that NC is equal to 250 plus 650 plus 300 so we can say this is 250 plus 650 plus 300 this gives me 1200 so and C is equal to 1200 pound and it is acting in the upward direction at the cross section through C now to find this MC we must apply the sum of the moment about point uh, C must be equal to 0 so the sum of the moment about point C this is equal to 0 the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive now the moment arm of this WDC the weight of this DC uh, part of the section is passing through this point C it's not going to produce the moment because its moment arm is equal to zero so we have MC MC in the clockwise direction so I will write minus MC and this weight of this boom is producing the clockwise moment so again the clockwise moment is considered to be negative and the weight is 650 and the moment arm of this weight from that point C is this distance which will be the half of this because this is the weight of this boom and it will act at the mid length so the total length is 10 13 so 13 divided by 2 so this is 13 divided by 2 so let's multiply this with 13 divided by 2 and similarly this 300 pound force is also producing the clockwise moment so I will write minus 300 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this 300 pound force from that point C is the length of this DF boom which is 13 so this is equal to 0 so now from this if I bring this MC to the other side of equation we will be left with this so let's find MC MC is equal to minus 650 into 13 divided by 2 
minus 300 into 13. So this is equal to minus 8125 pound feet. And the minus sign tells that the assumed direction of MC is not accurate. It's it's uh, acting in the opposite direction. MC is in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the internal bending moment at the cross section through point C. This is the normal uh, internal force uh, to the cross section, uh, 1200 pound, and the shear force at the cross section through C is equal to zero. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.